What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a short and sweet video today. We're actually going to be covering the Encore stars. Can I get an Encore? Do you want more? Honestly, I think that now with these players, the player of the week's domestic leagues are gone, but it's now a collection of player of the weeks, which I thought was going to happen without having players because there's no leagues on. The domestic leagues are all finished, but we do have the return of 33. 33 players 33 my nemesis of saying that word lads because of the irish accent 33 okay and we've got these players in here there's 30 plus players as i said you've got saka musiala rafael leao vinnie jr rodrigo griezmann jesus dan roma barella ter stegen if i get ter stegen he's out in the, tr in the trash bin but anyway the rest of these players in here lads there's actually some pretty decent players in here if you've missed out on these guys before foden samar kamavinga this Foden is down as a creative playmaker, but he's got a really, really nice card. Um, it depends. Listen, as I said to you before, right, these cards now, I think they're kind of like a stopgap before we get the next big update. And what Konami are going to do with that next big update, whether they're going to continue to release the player of the weeks with the three boosters in the pack, and then have another like European tie or whatever, but... I think that they're probably going to shift their attention to all Euros because we're going to have two months of European competitions. You know, the Copa Americana and, of course, obviously the Euro 2024 as well. Um, so it is going to be interesting how they actually, I suppose, deal with that because last season it was slightly different because the game was a little bit more ahead of where it was. I reckon that the next big update... I mean, we're going to be... We're in June now, boys, right? They release an update next week, which all points... All signs point to that. I know we're getting off topic here, but just to show you this, right? These are all gone in six days' time. So that's next Thursday, which is going to be what? The 14th? 13th, 14th? Um, so I think that by then, you're, we're literally going to be having maybe two months of the Euro content or maybe a month and a half of the Euro content. I don't see us getting another update apart from an asset update where they are launching assets or loading assets for eFootball 2025 because I think that's going to start to come out in August and maybe maybe that's what they're looking at now, right? And we'll get into that again. Uh, we've already talked about it on the live stream today. But these players here, the pick of these lads, I'm not going to waste your time, honestly. I'll keep this video short and sweet. Any of these players are pretty decent. Uh, you know, even Dan Byrne, who's down as a left back here, He's one of the most unique centre-backs in the game. Got really good head and stat, physical contact. He's, he's 201 centimetres. He's the collar killer. Um, interception, man marking, heading, area superiority. He doesn't have blocker. Stamina is pretty decent. Speed is pretty decent. With the pep boost, you're going to have 85 plus speed. You're going to have the tackling and aggression into the 85 zone around as well. Um, fairly decent card. Even the likes of Pedro and Diogo Cancavs. Uh, Goncavs, these guys are pretty decent. I mean, they're they're very decent cards. This guy doesn't have a face, obviously. Um, Fermin Lopez, we got him as well. He's a pretty decent card. I don't think that any of these cards are really worth spinning for, apart from Dan Byrne, from here back, right? From here back. I would even probably throw Harry Maguire in and this guy in as well. Now, from these cards forward, I definitely think that there's some nice cards in here. This Saka card is, is a really nice card. He's got good dribbling, speed, acceleration, balance, stamina. And he also has 70 plus aggression, tight pass, tight possession, low pass, pretty decent card as well, if you do spin for him. Uh, the thing with this pack is, boys, you can actually clear this pack. So if you want to spin 33 times, you're going to get all these players, 33 of these players for 3,300 coins. So... I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're starting off and you're you want to guarantee yourself a couple of in-game level players, I mean, this Musiala, they all have weaknesses, these cards. They all have weaknesses. Um, I would say that this Musiala is definitely not as good as his big time, but, I mean, for potentially what could be 100 coins or 500 coins, depending on your luck, or 1,000 coins or 3,300 coins, it's not a bad option to have. I mean, especially now with the way that the Euro cards are going to be out, I personally would wait until next week. I think this is just kind of like a mop-up of every card that they could release i mean we saw the same with cristiano ronaldo but yeah my top top picks would be obviously rodrigo and Vinny jr this Vinny jr down as a goal poacher is phenomenal plays way above his stats flip flap soul control double touch off the rip one touch pass through passing beautiful rodrigo the same um you've got double touch flip flap and soul control this actual rodrigo card is a beast 85 balance 90 acceleration um 85 type possession 90 finishing 
with the manager boost, that's going to get a big boost uh, with Pep and Xabi Alonso within those uh, systems. So very, very nice card as well. They're probably the two picks, um, you know, the Champions League winners from last week, Vinny and Rodrigo. Griezmann's okay as a CMF. He's down as a whole player, but probably better playing him as an AMF. Bit slow. Um, we also have Rafael Leao. Now, me and Rafael Leao have a Marmite relationship. You either love him or you hate him. And I definitely do rate him a bit higher than I did. But he is slightly clunkier than he needs to be, in my opinion. He's just a powerhouse. But he does have flip-flap, soul control, and double touch off the rip as well with super sub and acrobatic finishing. Long range, curl and rising shot. It's a nice card. Pure, raw, power, and pace. Look at that physical contact. It's going to go to around the 90 zone. Um, but he has inconsistent form. Donna Roma. Haven't seen a Donna card in a long time. My favorite goalkeeper since eFootball 2022. Obviously, we use Czech now, but another fantastic player. And this Jesus. I know people that swear by this Jesus in Division 1, that have got to Division 1 top 500 and use him because of his track back, his outside curler, and his movement as a deep line forward is very unique. Kind of like Neymar before Neymar came out. Ter Stegen, pff, get in the bin, don't even want to talk about him. Barella as well with this box-to-box -box style. Very, very good card if you've never played with Barella before. But yeah, I mean, listen, boys, we're into kind of uncharted waters now, I think, for eFootball 2025. So this Pepe is actually quite good. I got him on my road to glory. Exceptional aggression. Speed goes to 75 plus with the manager boost. Very nice. Excuse me, 40 years of age. Oh, my throat. <coughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, listen, that's what they're going to be doing now, I think, is re-releasing stuff. Um, and you see that the same with Cristiano and the Japan epics. So let me know your thoughts. That's it. Let's short and sweet. They're probably the big picks that I would pick. Um, don't forget to check out the stream, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you in a little bit.